Hey there, story lovers. Welcome to chapter three of our enchanting tale, where the Winter Lantern Festival in the town of Mystic takes center stage. Picture this, a town square bathed in the warm glow of countless lanterns, each one flickering against the encroaching darkness. The air is filled with a mix of excitement and trepidation as the townsfolk gather, their faces illuminated by the ethereal light. It's a night of secrets, memories, and the promise of forgiveness. So, buckle up and get ready to dive into a world where light and shadow dance together, and where the past and present collide in a tapestry of emotions. Let's get started. As the festival reaches its peak, Lila Moore stands at the heart of the town square, her wild, curly hair tousled by the salty breeze. Her heart races with a mix of excitement and trepidation, the weight of her family's secrets pressing against her chest like a heavy cloak. Beside her, Oliver Grant shifts nervously, his warm brown eyes scanning the crowd. The festival has drawn out the townsfolk, but it has also stirred the ghosts of their pasts. Lila senses the tension in the air, a palpable fear clinging to the edges of their laughter. She reaches for Oliver's hand, squeezing it gently, a silent promise that they will face whatever comes together. Around them, the lanterns cast a warm glow each one a vessel of memory and regret, illuminating the faces of the townsfolk gathered in the square. Nearby, Evelyn Evie Sinclair, the wise lighthouse keeper, stands with her silver hair glinting like the stars above. Her deep-set blue eyes sparkle with a knowing warmth as she watches Lila and Oliver. Tonight is about forgiveness, my dears, she says, her voice a soothing balm against the rising tide of anxiety. The lanterns will guide us, but it is up to each of us to confront our pasts. As the first notes of music float through the air, Lila steps forward, her voice trembling yet resolute. We gather here not just to celebrate, but to heal. Each lantern represents a story, a regret, a moment we wish to forget. But tonight, we can share those stories and find forgiveness. The townsfolk murmur among themselves, uncertainty etched on their faces. But as Lila begins to recount the stories she has uncovered, tales of love lost and dreams deferred, the lanterns seem to glow brighter, illuminating the faces of the townsfolk, who begin to share their own stories, their voices rising in a chorus of vulnerability and strength. Lila's heart races as she catches sight of the ghostly figure of Mayor Callahan hovering at the edge of the square, his translucent form flickering like a candle in the wind. The ghost's sorrowful expression mirrors the weight of the town's collective regrets, and Lila feels a surge of determination. She will not let fear dictate their fate. With Oliver by her side, Lila begins to recount the stories she has uncovered, tales of love lost and dreams deferred, each word a thread weaving the community closer together. As she speaks, the lanterns seem to glow brighter, illuminating the faces of the townsfolk, who begin to share their own stories their voices rising in a chorus of vulnerability and strength. The atmosphere shifts, the tension dissipating like the morning fog. Lila can see the townsfolk's fears melting away, replaced by a sense of unity. Oliver, emboldened by Lila's courage, steps forward, his voice steady as he shares his own struggles with the expectations placed upon him. We all have burdens we carry, he says, his warm brown eyes meeting the gaze of the crowd but we don't have to carry them alone. 